Hi, this is Chris, your Boomer Tech Guide, and uh, today we're going to have a little fun here. Um, I bet you most of you, uh, now that the holidays are over and you, you're doing your uh, New Year's resolutions, um, maybe one of them is to declutter. And you've got a bunch of these old photographs and boxes, and you know, you're kind of wondering what you're going to do with them. So. That was uh, one of the things that I wanted to do. So what I thought I would do is use my camera to, to take some photographs of, um, of my old, old pictures. So what I have to do is I have to go get my camera. <laughs> so follow me. All right, here we go. I was charging you them. So I've got my iPhone 10 right here. That'll give people a chance to, to find this. And um, so what's great about the, uh, the, the camera is you can use the camera just like this to digitize your photographs. You know, kind of just like that. So I started doing it this way, but what I found was that doing it this way, I had a, I had difficulty making sure that it was centered and that it was 90 degrees, you know, so that one end wasn't wider than the other. And uh, kind of uh, had a little challenge there. So I wondered whether or not there was something that uh, would allow me to take better, better pictures of my, of my uh, photographs. And what I found is that on the internet, uh, they actually, on, on Amazon, they actually sell these things called light boxes. And specifically light boxes for transferring um, photographs into digital images. And they were okay, um, but, you know, I'm cheap. So um, they were, I think I saw s some online, it was between like 15 and $30 for, for this light box. And they li literally were light boxes. Uh, what they would do is they would, they would be a, a box, and then there'd be lights inside the box, and there'd be a hole for the camera, for the lens, and you'd put that down, and then the inside of the box be lit. You could put your photo inside the box, and then you would be able to take a picture. So I just wondered to myself, well, I wonder if I could uh, find something that would allow me to do that. And um, it occurred to me that perhaps a leftover container that's translucent might serve that purpose. So I started looking around, because we're all switching to glass now, right? Because we don't have microplastics. So here's, here's one kind um, that I looked at. But what I noticed was it was too small, meaning that I'd be too close to the, uh, to the photograph to get all of it. So this one wasn't very good. So you didn't use that one. Um, we could also use this kind of one, which is, which is bigger, which is a little bigger, but one thing I noticed was that the sides were uh, too clear so that you would get shadows that would get cast on the, on the photograph. So I found the perfect one in goodwill for a dollar and you can see it's more it's not opaque but it's um, it's it's um, it's not clear and the top or the bottom of it is completely um, frosted so I saw I, I figured this one is not going to cause us any uh, shadow issues so what's nice about these is that 
because of the way they manufactured, you can tell where the exact center is. That's kind of where it got, I think, where it got extruded. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill a one-inch hole that's, you know, big enough for, the, for my lens. So let's take this, get this fun drill. Try not to drill through my wife's kitchen table. All right, so let's, there we go. That was easy. So we've got our hole for our camera. So let's see. We could put it like that, or we could put it like this. So either one of these orientations will work. Okay. So I like that. So what we'll do is let's put this photograph right in there. All right. And then we'll just put that there. And we can put that just like that. And what this allows me to do is that I can line it up exactly the way I want it. And I can actually zoom in if I want. So this is my daughter Alex and her grandfather. There we go. And we'll just take the picture. And there it is. So it's perfectly in focus. There's no glare. The quality of the picture is as good as the original photograph. And that's very fast. Uh, before I did this, I had to, you know, take the photographs of each, you know, I'd take the photograph and then I'd have to edit the photograph. And, and which is, which was, it was faster than scanning. I think some of you have scanners. But, you know, if you scan, then you have to, you know, transfer it from the scanner to your laptop or, you know, whatever device you're using. You have to say, but right for this, you know, it's right on the phone, which when I connect it up to my um, iPhoto or photo on my laptop, then I can do all kinds of cool things with it. So, if you can't find a, uh, a clear not one of these, or you, you have one that's, that is clear, what you can do, this was an earlier version that I, that I made, and what I did was I basically painted out the inside because it was too clear. Um, it would literally, when I put my uh, phone on here, what it did was I could actually see the reflection of the phone through the plastic. So if you if you if your plastic is too clear, you can just paint the inside and that'll take care of that. You could probably just coat it with some paper too, I think if you if you, if you wanted to. So that's what I have for now. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Uh, make sure you like us down below and um, we have a YouTube channel um, which is right on our on our conversation below is, has been posted I think by Ed hi Ed and um, so also check out our website which has lots of freebies at uh, boomertechadventures.com and also uh, check out our iPad iPhone group and that's it for now. Chris Toy, your Boomatech Adventures guide. Talk to you later.